Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Pro Body Talks. Today I have a very special guest, a uh, superhero in the real life as well, the one and only actor, entrepreneur, fitness coach, Tony Nicholson from China, Beijing. Welcome to my podcast, Tony. How are you? Thank you for having me on your podcast. I'm very flattered and honored that you accepted my invitation, especially in this time of tribulation um, for all of us. Yeah, no, it's, it's a pleasure to do this. If it can help more people, then that's great. This is the aim now. Okay, Tony, before we're going to get into our subjects and discuss um, about quarantine and how you went through, how you help people and different mm -hmm. strategies to work on our mindset, to, to stay healthy and balanced, tell us um, a little bit about yourself. Um, how did you get to China and how you became who you are today, a, a TV presenter, an actor, um, um, health and fitness coach? And a real superhero, not only doing a superhero in the movie, but just helping millions and billions of people nowadays. So, so I'm originally from England, so my parents are from uh, England, but I grew up in the Middle East, and then I went to school in England, uh -huh. school in America, and then I wanted to go to China to university to study Chinese language. So uh, wow. I studied at Chinese university, uh, studied at Harvard Business School, and then... Um, I've been in China now 15 years. So the dream to come to China was to learn Chinese. And I always believe that you should follow your dreams, follow your passions. So the first passion really was Chinese. Health and fitness has always been a passion. So whilst I was in China, I decided that I wanted to set up a health education company to help people get healthy. Um, and that first started off as a personal trainer, coaching people, getting them fit. And then I realized that in order for me to reach more people, I had to change my business model. So the model at that time was one-to-one -one sessions. So I wrote a book, and then after writing a book, I decided to do um, an app, and the app's called Tony's Eight Minutes, which is in the App Store. And then to really grow the brand and follow my passions, I've always loved acting, I've loved movies. So I started uh, being in Chinese movies here in China, so B movies, and then moved to A movies. Um, and all of it, you know, builds the brand, but focuses people, um, when they ask, you know, how can we do what you do or get interested? I always direct them towards my health education company, which is all in the app. I've been, uh, I've been, so I've been uh, doing this now for 10 years for 10 years for the company. Mm -hmm. And then, and then I was in, I was I in China, in, China in, in December to make movie. movie. And in January, that's when, in January, that's when. Also, Wait, my movie is called Swan. Big movie at the box office in China. It started in December. We were touring around China promoting the movie. Um, and the movie was, you know, topping the, the charts. Topping the charts. And then in mid-January, that's when we started to hear about the virus. And when the quarantines happened, the lockdowns. And so... Mm -hmm. Um, you know, like everyone in the world, it just kind of, you know, shook us like, you know, wow, we have to stay home. You can't go out, you, um, you know, you have to keep social distancing. So it's a really, uh, a total new way of life. You know, nothing we've, many of us, none of us really have experienced this. And so this is when I really start to see, um, the wider impact of my app in particular, and health and really trying to reach so many people around not just china but now in the world um giving them a system of like how to the motivation is important but how to stay fit stay healthy stay balanced during this time because uh i don't think in our especially in our lifetime that so many people have had to stay home and it's almost like for some people it's mandatory lockdown you know how do you it's deal with that arrest it's like being under arrest yeah, I mean, for us, it was okay because we're able to go out, we're able to go to the shops, buy our groceries, just, you know, um, we can't go to the gym, right? People can't work out. Uh, so people really need a system of like, how do I stay healthy? How do I stay fit? Um, and then that's when I really saw the wider impact of my app to help people. So that's a little bit of a background about myself. And uh, everything I do is fo focused around health, following my passion, following what's true to you, right? 
This is the most important that you are so authentic and you follow your passion. Then obviously that's how you become very, very successful because when you get to a point to serve with your, with your, with your heart and to engage people to, to do this type of activities, not because you're looking for something specifically, but because you genuinely want to help people, that's when magic happens. So um, tell me a little bit, how, how did you help people through your app and through your system to um, have a healthy life balance whilst they were in quarantine all this time? So the key is having a system. Everything, if you give people a system that's structured and that allows you to see progress that's measured and you're measuring the progress, then it's going to help people because you can't manage what you don't measure. So with my app, it's three programs. One is a workout program, which you can do anywhere, anytime. Um, mm -hmm. So you can do it at home. It's body weight. Another one is called Badlan Gym which is a form of Qigong. It's like Tai Chi. It's based off, um, you know, uh, something that's very traditional in China. It's been around for thousands of years. So I put that into the app. And then the third thing is meditation. So mindfulness, you know, um, taking a moment to be quiet and, you know, finding yourself, right? Most people don't take a moment in the day just to be quiet, to, you know, get in touch with themselves. I think this is a great time for us to do that, just to be quiet, go inside, um, and, you know, simple things like being grateful. So I have that in the meditation program, my eight minutes in Bad Lunch in the Qigong, which is the free program. So I started doing live streaming uh, three times a day, morning, lunch, and the evening, and just told people about this program that they could do. And it took off. It really took off. How many people do, uh, do follow your program at the moment in China? I got a few hundred thousand. Wow, that's fantastic. And how um, do you, because I suppose you have lots of testimonials with their results, with their progress. How did, the, how did this help them? Because I'm sure it helped them, but do you, did you, do you get testimonials on that or do you get any results that they got, get back to you to tell you? So usually I, uh, so I have different social media platforms in China. So I take feedback from that. People write into my team. Uh, through you know through the website and usually through the live streaming I just start reading all the comments that come through so as I was putting information out of out of out about the app and people were you know talking to me and giving me feedback so they so yeah. that's when so the that's TV show in China started asking they'd like to do an interview to find out you know how how I came up with this idea in particular the Qigong because you know, there's so many workout programs around the world. I'm not the only one. There's thousands of, of them. But what made it different is that I did Qigong, which is you know about breathing. It's about centering yourself, and it's based around um, you know something that's traditionally Chinese, and in particular, this is being used in China. And everyone's like, "Did you just come up with this now?" I said, "No, I've had this for a long time. You know, I've been doing it for quite a while. And here's my system. Here's my app." And that's what really took people away. And now what I'm finding is because, you know, many people are experiencing quarantines around the world, they're asking me, how did you do it? You know, you've been in it for a long time now. And I said, here's the system. It's really simple. Uh, most people would just get up in the morning and do it and it just helped get their day started um, because it's a system. So you've got like steps of how to do it and there's progression as well. So I have a beginner, intermediate and advanced. Um, but let's just be clear, this is not bodybuilding, so you're not going to get like, you know, super jacked. We don't need bodybuilding uh, in, in quarantine, <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> don't, we don't need to become more aggressive, we just need to yeah. find a way to get our balance back. Right. Because what Every, we need now. Everything's about balance. So yeah. that, that's the whole idea of the program is balance. Um, and the beautiful thing about it is because I designed it so... You know, you can have very young people doing it, older people doing it. So the, the, the whole program is only eight minutes and your app can be downloaded everywhere in the world, right? Everywhere in the world, yeah. That's, that's the way it's that's fantastic. That's where it's and, and it's great news because I see on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, everyone's bored and it's a trend now with this boredom. And I don't understand because I am busy all day long. I have so many activities online, offline, things that I can do and everyone should, and, and the fact that you get bored doing nothing, it's, it's unacceptable. 
So what can we, um, what's the message that we can send to all these people who stay home and they get bored nowadays? So I would challenge yourself, right? So what's interesting on social media now is everyone's doing the, I think it's the 10 push up challenge, you know, where you <laughs> challenge someone else. And, you know, that's very good as a short term thing. But if you notice, a lot of these trends on social media die down because they're fast. They last for a period of time. But anything great is built on habits because they create your character, which eventually create the person. So you have to find a system that's going to help you, you know, build a good habit. So that the way I design the app is one that it tracks the progress daily if you do it. And then there's alarms in there. So I would put the notification on to notify you every day to say, hey, let's do Tony's eight minutes. And in the beginning, it's going to seem weird. But once people started doing it, especially after 21 days uh, or a month, it just became a good addiction, right? And a good addiction, as someone once famously told me, is something that feels good for you. It's Good, it is good for you in terms of your health and it's good for others. Good for Most people do Most addictions, people do addictions. It feels good, but it's not necessarily good for them. Um, yeah. So um, any other tips on how to maintain a, a positive mindset throughout this quarantine? Because you experienced it yourself over three months. You okay, can start with your program, with your eight minutes a program on your app, but then all the way throughout the day, how can we actually be able to maintain this state of mind? I would say you need to start to create some type of structure for yourself because most people are gonna react and the ones that are successful, the ones that anticipate. So you have to say, okay, if I'm gonna be stuck inside for one week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, maybe longer, I need to create myself a structure. So uh, what I did for myself, and I did this with the live streaming, is I said, okay, I'm going to take one book a day. I'm going to work on you know, one book. I'm going to focus on one area in my work and in my business. And then you know, actually I started doing the live streaming, so that took up my time. So I started planning out things I could do in the day. But to get my day started, I would do my eight minutes just to get the blood flowing, get me in a mm -hmm. centered place before I'm balanced. And then you know, I said, okay, I've anticipated, right, I'm going to be in home for this amount of time these are the things i could do and some people this could be a great time for you to be at home and just reflect read mm. study slow down stop um you know most people just go 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 and now they have to stop you know it could be kind of scary but if you plan and you plan to succeed and you plan for success and set some goals you know it could be a great time of reflection yeah this is this is great and it's very very true indeed so many people are scared to slow down and are scared of silence most of the society because due to this uh, evolution that you know that has been happening in the last 50 100 years people became automatic not to say robots and they forgot about their soul about their heart how connect to connect with us or how to slow down how to put things into balance and um, maybe we should use this time to reconnect with ourselves to understand the fundamental values of life rather than uh, right. all this around and nonsense in order to you know lead others or you know, lead a life, you need to first lead yourself. And I would say don't overcomplicate it, you know. People tend to think a little bit too much. Just get something simple. Um, you know, for me, it's been eight minutes. Diet, for sure. Like, you know, cooking myself now. Obviously, you don't order any food. Um, what would you suggest people in terms of uh, diet, any supplements, uh, if you use any? And how did you maintain your immune system throughout this time? Do, uh, for meals, it's very simple. You know, a lot of vegetables steamed. I just steam all my vegetables. It's so easy to steam. Tastes great. And then I'll do some clean meat. I'll do some clean meat. Like this. And that's, that's about it. Um, uh, if it's a nice day outside, I'll go outside and do my cardio. I have a running machine in the house, so I'll run in the house. I track all my steps. You know, I use the Apple Watch, so it's great for 
uh, seeing my, you know, how many calories I've burned, how much I've been standing and sitting. But the mm -hmm. food is key. And in terms of supplements, I take a multivitamin. So um, that, yeah, and there's a number you can take. I actually take OptiMen from Optima Nutrition mm -hmm. because I find that a really comprehensive multivitamin. And then I take a oil. So I take an Udo's oil, which is a three, omega three, six, and nine, and it's made from plants. So I take those every day. Um, vitamin C as well. I have the emergency C pack, so I just do one a day, um, and I just keep that routine. And I feel it. Uh, I feel like I feel it in my body when I. And if I don't do it, I can just feel my energy, you know, lagging yeah. down a bit. So. This is fantastic. This is a uh, great news for our listeners, and I'm sure they can take a lot of work from this. You're a, a true inspiration for all of us. Uh, tell me a bit about the situation at the moment in China, because I know that everything is under control, as they said. How was um, Beijing affected? Because I know it, it wasn't that affected as one and other areas around one. It's great here. I mean, it's very safe. Um, uh, we're able to get groceries, able to go out. You know, life is, you know, it's really good here. They did a wonderful job. They, they 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 did a good job with uh, containing everything. This is the this is the main thing that uh, Europe and uh, the states are struggling at the moment to contain. So now China, everyone is safe. Everyone can go back on uh, on their uh, their activities. Can go on the street. Not still a uh, little interaction and still social distancing happening at the moment over there, right? So. Everyone has to wear masks. Yeah, very important just to keep the same. You know. I would encourage everyone in Europe and around the world, you know, make sure you wash your hands, wear a mask, and just, you know, uh, just follow all the guidelines. That's what I would say. Indeed, yes. Well, yeah. Tony, yeah. Uh, I really, really appreciate uh, taking the time to come hey, no. into my podcast. Um, this is our first episode. I hope many more to come with lots of interesting subjects. Now that we are going through this difficult period, I hope all these um, details uh, will help people, especially they can uh, go into your uh, program, they can download your app and start this eight-minute program that will uh, improve yeah. this yeah. isolation time. Okay, thank you so much again. Oh, and, you're uh, Thank you for having me. Is there anything particular you would like to uh, send us from China? Any other consideration before we? I would just say, um, you know, don't, you know, uh, don't react, react with fear react to everything. With fear to everything. Mm. You know, just, you know, uh, just uh, follow good hygiene. Follow good hygiene. Get yourself a routine at home. Uh, Get you, make sure your immune system is up, so eating healthy, taking vitamins, relax, and take this time just to reflect, right? rather than react. Um, that's very, very important. Very, very important. This is amazing. Thank you so much, Tony. So guys, as you heard, fear is the killer of everything. Let's do not act in fear. And secondary, very important, stay healthy and reflect and don't react. This is great. Thank you so much, Tony. Thank you for this. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. I'll, I'll, hopefully I'll see you very soon. Take care. Thank you. Thank you all for watching Pro Body Talks. We will be bringing you more guests in my upcoming episodes. Great inspirational human beings. So stay tuned. We have a lot of valuable information that I hope will inspire you all. In the meantime, you can support us by subscribing to my Patreon account. Thank you and goodbye everyone.